What kind of initiatives has your has your organization taken for the upskilling of your current employees? Okay, so um, learning and development as such is a fairly new uh, function in our organization, um, but it's something that's going to come into like a lot of focus in the coming years. Uh, basically, um, as of now, we are focusing on immediate business impact, um, which is basically. Um, tackling some of the issues that we face um, when it comes to service quality, right? So people who book an OYO today, um, are they able to get like a level of service which is good enough that they'll come back, right? That, that's, that's something that we're dealing with right now. Um, and uh, as we increase in size as an organization um, and with the speed that we're growing at also, it's becoming very hard to train, retain. Right? Train and retain. Yeah. That's what's becoming tough. Because we train them, they get a better offer, <laughs> and, then they, and, then they, and then they're gone. So, so how do you retain them? What tricks um, do you have in your back? So we have several uh, rewards and recognition programs. We, um, we're trying to build it into our culture where, uh, you know, we have like one of our OYO core tenets is uh, access everyone, support everyone. Right? So what we do is like, um, they, they can they can come up to any of the seniors and they can talk, right? But what's happening is because of how fast it's growing, that disconnect is there. Like where they don't feel ki okay we work for you. They feel ki like you know, hum ye ek property sambhal rahe, right? So our goal is to make our culture scalable. Yeah, that can happen through training. That can happen through values. Because like culture, it's something you do. Right? It's not it's not something that's learned. So yeah, basically.